good morning grade 7 let us do practice set 38 where we have seen problems related to inverse proportion are there all right first problem we have already solved in the earlier video let's go to the second problem mohan rao took 10 days to finish a book reading 40 pages every day that means if he reads 40 pages every day he is likely to complete that book or finish that book in 10 days how many pages must he read in a day to finish it in 8 days? Now in less time you have to finish the book. So you should be reading more pages, no? So if one is less, another should be more. That means what? If one is increasing, another is decreasing. Or if one is decreasing, another is increasing. So therefore your first sentence should be it is inverse proportion. So it is inverse proportion. Therefore, what is constant in inverse proportion? Therefore, product is constant. Okay. So, in 10 days, if he reads 40 pages per day, he finishes the book in 10 days. So, how many pages he should be reading in a day so that he will finish the book in 8 days? So, product means what? x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2. Between x1 and y1 multiplication sign is there. Between x2 and y2 multiplication sign is there. Just put the values now. x1 is 10. This is 14 which will be equal to 8 into y2. Number of pages read in a day. y2. Therefore, I am shifting this over. Okay, y2 will be equal to 10 into 40 upon 8. 8 ones are 8 fives are 40. 10 into 5 50. So y2 is equal to 50 days. So he should be reading every day 50 pages. Then only he will finish the book in 8 days. Is this clear? So at the end you please write the statement. He must read 50 pages in a day to finish it in 8 days. Alright. Let's go to the next problem now. Pause the video and take down all the steps, students. Now look at the third problem. Little interesting because it has little twist into it. Mary cycles at 6 km per hour. So her speed is how much? So speed is 6 km per hour. How long will she take to reach her auntie's house which is 12 km away? Now distance given is distance is 12 kilometers how long she will take that means you have to find time now you know formula speed is distance upon time speed is how much 6 distance is 12 time so t will be 12 upon 6 which is equal to 2 r so you got first r first answer she will take 2 hours if her speed is 6 kilometer per hour now next question comes that if she cycles at a rate of 4 kilometers per hour how long will she take that means relation here between speed and time is given. Distance will remain same. 12 kilometers is the distance. So you should be knowing that speed and time you have to take as the parameters. First speed is 6 kilometer. Time is not given directly. With the help of distance you are finding time. So if 6 kilometer per hour is the speed then to reach 12 kilometers she is taking 2 hours. Is this clear? Now if her speed is reduced. So she is naturally going to take more time. So if one is decreasing, another is increasing. Therefore, it is inverse proportion. So after writing this, this is first answer. You may write now, it is an inverse proportion. So what is constant? Therefore, product is constant. Alright, so product means what? x1 y1 is equal to x2 y2. Substitute the values 6 into 2 is equal to 4 into y2. So y2 will be equal to 6 into 2 upon 4. 2 1s are 2 2s are. 2 1s are 2 3s are. So y is equal to 3. We got y2 is equal to 3 and time it is in hours. So second answer is 3 hours. First was 2 hours. Is this clear? Okay. Let's go to the fourth problem. 
Now look at the third, uh, fourth problem. Sorry, we'll be doing this is fourth problem now. Very easy. Just see. The stock of grain in a government warehouse lasts 30 days for 4,000 people. So stock is fixed of food, whatever it is, grain. Okay, it is fixed. Now if there are 4,000 people, then it lasts for 30 days. Now people have increased, so it will be exhausted fast, no? And therefore, if number of people is will be increasing, then automatically it will, la it will last for less than 30 days. So, if one quantity is increasing, another is decreasing. Therefore, it is inverse proportion. So, first you write, it is inverse proportion. So, product is constant. So, x1, y1 is equal to x2, y2. Okay, stock of grain is fixed. People are increasing and decreasing. So as per, it will last for more or less days. Isn't it? So you have 4000 into 30 is equal to 6000 into Y2. So Y2 is equal to 4000 into 30 upon 6000. Okay. 3 tens are 30 and 3 twos are 6. 2 ones are 2 twos are. 2 into 10 is 20. So it will last only for 20 days. If instead of 4,000, 4, 6,000 people are there, then because number of people have increased, obviously it will last for few days only. It will get exhausted earlier. So you may write, how many days will it last for 6,000 people? So your statement should be, it will last for 20 days for 6,000 people. Is this clear students? So this was your fourth problem from uh, set 38. And that is end of I think practice set 38. Okay, four problems were there. So we have finished with our practice set 38. In the next video, we will go for Practice set 39. I think in that now mixed problems are there. Inverse as well as direct. So you will have to first identify which is the proportion. And accordingly if direct proportion then ratio is constant. If inverse proportion product is constant. And then you have to solve. Okay. So as of now that's all for today from my side. Thank you.